Hi, Jackie. How are you? Hi, Pat. I'll be right there. I'm getting my, uh, wow. Hi everyone. <laughs> Hope everyone had a good weekend. Oh yes, there'll be a lot going on. That's for sure. Oh yes, Debbie. Sorry about that. I always forget to turn off my uh, my speaker. Okay. Oh boy, I forgot to change the date. Uh oh well. Hi Linda. Hi Kokobi, how are you? Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, but you know, I, I should, but everyone know uh, my schedule by now, so that's okay. But I forgot to send uh, the, the regular notice. I should, I was busy this weekend. Well, I broke down, I, uh, I did uh, Trump's chart. And it's because, because I never wanted to waste, I did not do it before because I did not want to waste my time on him. So I believe it was last week or the week before last, someone suggested that I do his chart and I was going to present it tonight. Uh, so that's what got me busy over the weekend. And unfortunately, when I tested it, I created the chart, I did everything. And when I replayed the video, because there's a way I can come on, I can set it on private, people won't know. And when I, uh, I did a test with me and the little box on top and the chart taking the majority of the screen, I could not read I mean, I could see the circles, you know, and stuff like that, but I could not see everything clearly. So I decided, okay, I'm going to, I'll present it probably either Friday or sometimes next week because I have to troubleshoot and find out why I cannot see all the letters. Uh, or, I mean, I could not see the chart clearly. So that's why tonight you're not getting a, 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 well, it's a short presentation. Basically I have it on my, on that computer head there uh, about, uh, it's basically what I have been saying and I was going to present it to show, uh, well, I may be a bit early as far as time is concerned, but I feel this year is not going to be easy for Trump. But you can really never tell because you, we are dealing with energy. That's why even in, in, uh, in astrology, there is a date range, beginning and end of an aspect. And then when, and then, uh, you know, when it's uh, the strongest, when it's, oh, I forget the name now. But anyway, when it's focus, it's the strongest. So uh, I was I was working with that, but I didn't I didn't have a chance to do anything else. In any event, I will present it next week. But I did it, and I did well. I'll give you uh, I'll give you a little background. When when it comes to making predictions, nothing happens unless you have the, you know the sun, the moon and the angles involved. Otherwise, the prediction is not going to happen. And lo and behold, I, I, I did the, uh, the solar chart. Uh, solar arc, I'm sorry, not solar. Solar arc, not solar return. And Trump has progress, Uranus, arcing his ascendant, meaning in the background waiting for something to happen to remove him from the position that he's in. 
and also Uranus, the planet Uranus, transit Uranus, is on his ninth house, heading towards his uh, his tenth house, the cusp, and as that and and that as that planet moves closer, okay, it's going to when that happens. Either your reputation is going to suffer or something is going to happen to affect your reputation, good or bad, I'm sorry. Or there's a job issue that's going to, that's going to happen. So that's what I was working on all weekend. I got it ready. At least I was 90%. And then I did the test earlier, around 3 o'clock this afternoon. I'm glad I did because the chart wasn't clear when I replayed the video. So that's why I didn't do it. But... The good news is when it comes to my predictions, uh, I use the NATO, the solar arc chart, and the transit, those three things. And also Mars is going to, going to conjunct, transit Mars is going to conjunct the, 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 the MC as well. So sometimes I believe if I recall in March. So, uh, there is a very good chance. Well, a lot is going to unfold between now and then and also for the rest of the year because that uh, the Uranus aspect, the solar arc, uh, Uranus conjunct, his ascendant is going to last, for, I believe, for a year. So any little thing can take him out. So that's what I was doing this weekend, so I didn't have a chance to to do anything else in any event. Because I, I, like I said, I, I've always told everyone, it's, I, uh, I study this on my own. So to make a presentation, I, have, I, I do the chart and then I, uh, I have to double check myself. So <laughs> Pat says, yesterday she had such a feeling of, of foreboding and she knew something terrible was going to happen. And this morning she heard about Cuba. What happened in Cuba? Am I missing something? Pat, what happened in Cuba? I know something is going on in Venezuela. <laughs> and then the sun is still pretty much means he's screwed. Yeah, and... Uh, that's why I did the chart because usually, well, I could not, I, I did not want to waste time on him and I didn't want to, you know, waste time and I really didn't want to waste time on him because I, you know, so that's why I never really had the, you know, the incentive to look at his chart. I don't really like him very much, but yes, uh, I don't feel how this, uh, he's going to get out of this. Hi, Mystery. How are you? <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they, you have neighbors over there. You have famous neighbors, love, Mystery. Hi, Stephen. How are you? That's all right, Stephen. But, you know, there is one thing I've, I've, before we start, because I know once we start going on on politics... There is a lady, I don't know if anyone has heard, she is like a Martha Stewart, but she, before Martha Stewart, her name is B. Smith, I was uh, watching the news a little while, no, I was reading it, because I, wa I wanted to see if there was, there was anything new for me to discuss, to discuss here this evening, and I heard B. Smith has Alzheimer's, oh my God, well, I heard it before, but this afternoon, I, I played a video of her, and it seems like her, her husband has a girlfriend and people were criticizing him. But unless you put yourself in the guy's shoes, I, I met her a long time ago. I went to eat in her restaurant in Harlem a long time ago. So, but it's, it, it bothered me. I wanted to mention that, uh, that you know, it, it's, it's really sad. I remember her running around being happy. And this afternoon, I was watching the video you know, I could pick up, there is a disconnect between mind, you know, spirit and body. It, it was, uh, it, 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 
it was sad to watch. So I wanted to mention that. I really felt I really felt bad how uh, crazy life is, you know. So we should not spend time on Trump until it happens. I mean, what I mean is, don't let Trump drive you crazy. Enjoy your lives. <laughs> I do. I try not to let him get to me. Then I try. I don't let him get to me. I just do other things. So that's what I wanted to mention. I was, and also, well, the reason why I wanted to mention it is because some people are criticizing her husband uh, because he has a girlfriend now. And he came out, he's a, he was honest. I Range Rover. I mean, I understand. <laughs> That's for sure, mystery. Uh, he has a girlfriend and, you know, it's very depressing and sad to take care of a loved one who has that disease. I've seen people, oh my God. So I couldn't criticize him. I mean, he's taking care of her. He has people helping her. So as long as he does the right thing, she probably doesn't even recognize or doesn't even know who he is anymore. So he has a girlfriend now and more power to him. That will keep him motivated as far as helping her. I thought it was, you know, I don't like it, but you know what? It's better than abandoning her. So, hi, Jen. You know what, Jen? I would be surprised if we don't start, you know, that, now that Jen is asking, when is the next indictment? You know, I've been expecting an indictment since uh, uh, Thanksgiving. And now I would not be surprised within the next week or two, we don't hear another shoe drop because it feels like to me Mueller has all his papers ready. I heard he's supposed to be done soon. I don't think so. But the next next uh, week or two. Yeah, like, uh, Mr. Reed, it's, it's, it's tough. Uh, we're going we're gonna to hear more indictments coming. And somebody asked me if it's going to be... No, Koshna is definitely going. Oh, wait a minute. That's, one of my, that's on my list. Did anyone hear about what Koshna did? about getting his uh, security clearance? Well, he didn't do it. Trump did it. They over, they said, they turned him down for top security clearance. And Trump over, they told, told uh, I, I, don't, I don't remember the name of the gentleman. He said, he overrode everything. He said, give it to him. And Koshta wanted to have the top, I don't remember how they call it, SCI or something like that that's above top secret and the CIA said no so I was very happy but oh I was going to forget to mention this you know this morning I was thinking about how Koshner got his security clearance I don't feel Koshner and uh, Ivanka are going to be in Washington for very long I don't know why this morning I felt well this week it, it, he has gotten himself, well, he's not looking good because he failed at uh, helping Trump uh, getting the money for, for, the, for the war. And it seems like a lot of people in Washington are, are well, telling, are talking, are saying the obvious that they are all incompetent. And I don't feel Kushner likes that. So I wouldn't be surprised if after the winter, if uh, if he doesn't pull out, he doesn't leave Washington, but that's not going to help him no matter what. He's going to, uh, he's going to be indicted. Oh, Jackie Shane. <laughs> Roger is only worth five million, huh? Oh, no, he, you're right, Jackie. Well, that's one thing. I'm glad you, you, you mentioned uh, Roger. I have, has everyone noticed that he is uh, wavering? Yesterday, I believe, he said, you know, he's going to talk his, to his attorneys and he's keeping an open mind about testifying or negotiating with uh, Mueller. And today he said something completely different. I feel he will. He has no choice. 
well, not that he has no choice, but first of all, he's going to start thinking about how much money he's going to have to spend, number one. Number two, uh, going to jail for a long time, I don't feel that's in his, <laughs> uh, that's, that's on his schedule, things to do. So I feel he's, he'll start talking to cut the amount of time he may go uh, up the river for. So I feel Roger is definitely going to uh, cooperate with Mala. Oh, thank you, Sharo. Okay. Who? Oh, Patty's in Florida. I hope you are enjoying. And what was the next thing I wanted to... Okay. Wow. Did everyone see... You know, for the first time, did anybody see... Uh, Stephen is asking, will there be another shutdown? Uh, in fact, that's on my, on my list to talk about. I don't think so, Stephen. Uh, Trump is so terrified now. Uh, it's, it's, it's not funny. Another shutdown, I don't, I don't... Well, first of all, he won't have the support of the Republicans to stand up. I don't mean his followers, but those in office. And his base is shrinking, and uh, he will probably, I feel he's going to make a deal, okay, where he can say he won, and then uh, down the road, <laughs> the Democratic Congress make him spit it back out. That's my opinion, because I don't feel they're going to make life easy for him at all, but I'm sure everyone knows that. I was talking about something else. But uh, no, uh, uh, to be, uh, hi, Kemchi, how are you? I don't feel there's going to be another shutdown. I and, I and you know what? If there is, I would not be surprised if Nancy Pelosi start impeach impeachment. Uh, I, I know that's not talked about, but that's what I feel. They're going to find a way to just put, the, put him on notice. So I wouldn't be surprised if they impeach him. Now, did everyone watch the uh, Kamala Harris yesterday? 20,000 people. This is the first time I feel what I didn't watch the whole, I don't remember how, how, how long it lasted, but when, when I saw Kamala Harris and, uh, and the way she was talking, I, intuitively speaking, I feel she is one of the few in the Democratic uh, team that can beat Trump to a pulp. So, because I don't feel she's if she's going to be a, she's going to be she, well, I don't feel she's going to do what uh, Hillary did, continue being nice. Mystery, I would be shocked if, if Trump goes past June. I, my, I'm still going to stick by my uh, February, March, because, well, it, he, he may last longer because a lot of us, some of the stuff that we are hearing that Trump has done, it's like it doesn't matter anymore. And that's not true. But worst thing are going to keep spilling out, more people from his team are going to keep being in, getting indicted, okay? People are not going to uh, be able to turn a blind eye anymore, blind eye anymore. We're going to have to face reality. So I feel that uh, I don't see him because it's, going to, it's not going to get better. Trump has done worse thing that we, don't, we have not even heard about. And we will not hear about them until Mueller releases his report. What we know right now is only the tip of the iceberg. Marie Theresa is the acting. Oh, I think the general has said he's been briefed at Mueller. Yes, Marie Theresa, I heard, I saw a little bit of it on TV a little while ago that uh, he says 
Marley is almost done, to be honest with you. When he said that, when somebody is talking and I, without thinking, and I start questioning, well, how can that be? Uh, I don't feel he was correct. Yes, I, I'm, I, I'm not saying he's lying, but I don't feel Mueller is close to done. And it feels like to me, every time he lifts a rock, he finds something else. So, uh, I don't, uh, you're right, Jen, Kamala, Kamala, Kamala is no joke. She, she's going to, I think, not I think, I know. If she is among, or she, if she's the nominee, Trump is done. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to stop because that was funny. I had to say something. In any event, uh, I lost my train of thought. That was so <laughs> Yeah, well, I was talking about uh, the report. No, I don't think... Uh, I don't think... I don't think he's done. Somebody... Uh, Jen said something. When <laughs> says she agrees Trump is literally the devil. Absolutely. Somebody says Whitaker was stuttering. That's, and sweating too. He was stuttering and sweating a lot, Robin. You're right. Well, it's because he's nervous, and it's not because of the position that he's in. It's because he knows that he's not well liked, and some of the stuff that have come out about him. So he's not comfortable with that. Thank you, Sharo. So that's what's making him uh, nervous and uncomfortable because he was sweating. I couldn't. I, I was I was looking and trying to figure it out. I, it's not the lights because it's because you're right. He's nervous. He's not comfortable. Please, everyone, uh, hit the like button for me, please, if you can. I would appreciate it. Okay, let me see. Oh, somebody Tessie is asking, what about Howard Schultz? Howard Schultz is very smart. He's a great businessman, but I don't feel he's going to run. First of all, uh, the backlash against him. I mean, he didn't even announce and everybody went off on him. That's not the only thing. Uh, I believe he's on a, on a book tour now. Uh, yes, he's going to sell books for sure, but I don't feel that's going to give him any encouragement to run. He may start running and then lose steam. I don't, I don't see him among the people lasting. No. <laughs> Teresa said, if Trump is still around in 2020, her sister will vote for, for him. Well, it's not only her sister. A lot of people will, are willing to vote for him again. It's crazy, but... Uh, what are we gonna do? <clears throat> but I don't, I don't feel, I don't see how this is going to pan out. Like I said, I looked at the chart. My time, I said February, March, and all my videos. When I studied the chart between yesterday and today, it says, uh, I mean, okay, there is something that called me that's called midpoint. And whenever that an aspect uh, is going to be made to one of those pictures, it's the energy starts three months after, and it lasts. I mean, three months before, and it lasts three months after. So chances are, one of those uh, aspects can last uh, a year, depending on the planet. If it's a slow planet, but it's it starts the energy starts to apply itself three months before, and it takes it three months after it peaks or the uh, the end for it to completely diminish. So uh, I feel I'm still in the window, the starting window. I may be a little earlier, 
But the way I oh mystery, were you here? I was I explained I did Trump's I, I looked at Trump's chart, astrological chart. The t my timing can be off. I, that's what I saw. But we're dealing with energy when we are making predictions. So uh, I I still feel I don't see how he's going to last till 2020. No way. I would be even surprised if he lasts till the beginning of the summer because there's one. There's another thing that's going to happen, and this is going to cause I feel a lot of controversy when Don Jr. and his kids are indicted. In fact, there is an aspect, I was looking at it in his chart, I believe, yeah, something involving his kids because his Pluto is, op you know, Pluto and his chart is opposing uh, Venus. And if I recall Pluto is transiting his fifth house. I don't, I'm not, I don't recall exactly, but yes, there is something that's going to happen that has to do with his kids. When that starts going, you, we think Trump is crazy now. Yeah, he's going to lose his mind. And by that time, uh, I felt in the past that he may suffer a health setback. I would not be surprised if that doesn't happen when his kids get indicted. I don't know how Mueller is going to do it. I don't feel it's going to take a, you know another year for Mueller to come down on them. I know his kids are expecting it, but they have, all of them, they are so used to getting away with everything because of the amount of money that they have. This time is different. Oh, did you guys want that brought something to mind? Uh, Chris Christie wrote a book and I heard this little snippet of it. That's one of the books I'm, I'm going to buy it tomorrow. I think it's coming out sometime this week, but whenever it comes out, I'm going to buy a copy. Uh, he was explaining how Kushner and Trump believed that if they fire Comey, the Russian investigation was over. And Chris Christie told Kushner and Trump, uh, you, you're mistaken, because he would be talking about, to them, about the investigation two years from uh, the date that they were discussing it. And Kushner says, you're crazy. Uh, I could not believe Kushner, not Trump, with that much money. I, I, I thought the caliber of people they would have as friends, intellectuals and all, that these people would know better. How dumb Kushner is, is unbelievable. How, how are you going to be able to stop an, an FBI investigation by firing the, FP the, 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 the director of the FBI? This is unbelievable to me. I am not, you know, I'm not at their level, I know that. I, I could not believe Christie has to explain it to, to them and they were shocked. So, that's when there are two books that are coming out this week or next week. I'm not quite sure. One is by Chris Christie. There is another young gentleman, I forget his name, who wrote another, another book as well. I'm going to buy it too. So, thank you, Mystery. Oh, I have 60 uh, thumbs ups. But yes, I could not believe when I heard that uh, Koshner didn't know that. I, I mean, have these people been living under a rock? Jen says, uh, Christie says there is no investigative committee to release transcript to mothers to follow up on. That the representative purposely are not staffing. Oh, yes. I, I wanted to bring that as well. Thank you, Jen, for bringing that up. Uh, well, they're gonna do. They have no choice. The Republicans are delaying, are playing delaying tactics. They are not staffing the regular committees, like uh, judiciary committees and all of them, because they are trying to stall the, the investigation into Trump. But I believe I was watching 
uh, NBC yesterday, Channel 4, and the uh, majority, the minority leader in the House, I forget his name, he, the guy from California, uh, I forget his name, He's that guy li lies like there is no tomorrow, he's just like Trump. Uh, he said they're going to staff the committees this week, so we'll see. <laughs> Edward says Kushner's daddy had to buy him a spot at Harvard. I think you're right, Edward. That's what happened because I can't believe these people have n no understanding of how the government works. I mean, this is basic stuff. If I know it, trust me, it's basic. Thank you, Shower. I'm going to have to give Shower a reading one of these days. Thank you for, for your help. <laughs> okay. Someone else asked a question. I'm sorry I didn't. I was talking. Oh, Bill Benson. Thank you, Bill. Yeah, these, these shirts, I have to wear them. They are, oh my God, old. Uh, that's when I used to be in corporate. So now you get you guys get to see me uh, wearing them because I don't want to throw them out or give them away. So <laughs> okay, Teresa says. Teresa says if she disagrees with her with her sister because her sister is a Trump uh, supporter, uh, she would be. Uh, Upset. I agree with you. There is no reason to, uh, Teresa. You know, sooner or later she will realize she was wrong. I am sure a lot of Trump supporters will realize that at some point. But now it's an ego trip and a lot of them don't want to accept the fact that they, they are wrong. But once, and the, the other thing is, once Trump leaves the stage, a lot of people are going to be, you know, they're going to they're gonna be able to open their eyes and see things differently. Ann Anderson is asking, what about the undocumented immigrant workers uh, Trump employs in his hotel? You know what, Ann? Yes, they've been let go. I'm sorry, I meant to, to mention that. I didn't write it on my, on my paper. I, I, don't see, I don't feel they're going to be deported because, uh, well, at least not right away. And I'm sure they, they have other uh, angles. Uh, you know, for them to get their green cards. The the thing is, they're going to testify in front of Congress. And, you know, regardless of what Trump does, this country, unless you are a native, we are all immigrants. And uh, I would, I don't feel they're going to, yes, I've been looking at that. Hi, Susan. I don't feel they're going to, Susan is asking, will Stacey Abram run for president? I don't think in 2020, Susan, but at some point, yes. No, I don't feel they're going to uh, deport the Trump workers, at least not now. And I don't feel, I, I'm not seeing it because I was looking at them this morning. They were, they were speaking on, uh, on MSNBC. I did not feel they were traveling. So let's keep our fingers crossed. I don't think they're going anywhere, but the next year is going to be challenging for them. Okay. Sandy, I don't, I, uh, thank you, Stephen. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen it. Okay. Sandy, can you please be more specific? Because did you did you and, and 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 your partner break up? There is a distance here. Amy says uh, is asking, will Cohen tell the house and private testimony? Amy, Cohen is going to tell everything and more. You know what I feel as I'm saying that. Cohen has two types of records. Uh, I feel he has audio, not those that they took. Okay. And he has a journal. So 
he has created two different type of records so that when he goes, I, I'm not quite sure where he's going to play the audio one or if he uses the audio, if he's somewhere or he remembers something that he has to, uh, he wants to, when he gets home, if he wants to, li to, to listen to it, I don't know how he uses it, but I am seeing him sitting at a computer, tapping everything. I don't feel he's just going to sit there and uh, spit everything out from memory. Uh, yeah, he's going to tell everything he knows. That's why I am saying that right now we only know the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more to come out. Somebody is asking uh, if I see more indictment this week. Yes, there's an, uh, Trish. Yes, there's more indictment coming, but I can confuse time. But within the next week or two, there are going to be more. Okay. <laughs> or or uh, Teresa, you're not alone at all in disliking Trump. He lies so much. Oh my God. Mitchell says they don't want, you know, uh, to be proven wrong or a blind, you know, to see it. Uh, Mitchell, I feel they, 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 they just tolerate it. I don't know how some people do it. Oh, yeah. Well, some of them, they have 401ks. So if their 401k is growing, they don't care about anything else. They call them 401k Trump supporters. They have a whole bunch of stuff. Some of them say, well, you know, we like the judges that uh, he appoints. All kinds of alibi. But uh, a lot of them got uh, were awakened this past month because a lot of them, a lot of people who voted for Trump got hurt during the shutdown. So I, I, that, that's not a reason why. Intuitively, I don't feel he's going to do the shutdown again. Okay. But uh, that's one thing that's eroding his base. <laughs> uh hot i don't know they're probably going to release uh whatever is not confidential or secret okay uh but because i don't i don't feel the democrats are going to keep anything secret and also uh there is another committee that it's two committees who want to talk to Trump, to, uh, to uh, Cohen. One is going to be behind closed doors. The other one is going to be uh, in public. And I did hear a little while ago that uh, they're going to give him protection. And, uh, I, and like I said before, I don't feel... Well, first of all, he's in New York City. Uh, he can get the area where he lives at. He can get pretty good, you know, NYPD can, can, can really help. And I'm sure the FBI and all these people, yeah. I, I don't, I never felt he's, I mean, I understand how he feels when you're getting threats, but I never felt he, he was going to be in danger. Somebody said, Linda just said a few times Trump's mom came to her and said Trump lied on it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not surprised Linda G picked that up. I never got that, but I'm not surprised. It sounds right to me, Teresa. <laughs> Okay. Mystery, what are you saying? I heard Trump was really pissed off at them today. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha, 
Heather, we, 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 we will work on, on, on trying to make that happen. We'll work on that. Yes, I heard uh, he got pissed off at them because he feels, uh, well, the, what happens is they are, it seems like the past couple of days, they are not going out, out outright lie to people about what he's been doing. But you know something? I was I was uh, listening or I was watching on MSNBC. They were replaying something that happened on MS on on Fox. I felt the rift is going to get wider between Trump and Fox because it feels like to me Fox is going to is beginning to realize to go all in for Trump and they don't know how much. Uh, well, it's not for any other reason, but for the Russian contacts that Trump uh, had during uh, his campaign. I feel that's what's, that's what's giving the people at Fox pause. That's why, uh, besides the, uh, the war as well, they, they noticed how badly Nancy Pelosi uh, beat them up. But I feel they are questioning, they are beginning to realize Trump has done, Trump's, uh, they don't know the depth of Trump's uh, friendship with Putin. And that's giving a lot of people, uh, making a lot, so a lot of people are concerned about that. Hi, Ada, how are you? <laughs> the mystery, I think it's going to be more than catfight. <laughs> Nancy, uh, them. Somebody asked me a question. I, I hope I, 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 Sandy. <laughs> I had them. Yeah. Uh, well, well, I, 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 I'm, I'm, Fox has been really, uh, it's been unbelievable the way they've been uh, spreading. It's a propaganda channel, basically. The way that anything Trump says, and also, well, the, the, the feeling was mutual between uh, Trump and, and Fox. So they were feeding into each other. Yeah, I, I feel that, that you know, this is the beginning of a rift between the two of them. Where is Sandy? Okay, Sandy, what, what, yes, you said something about relationship. I'm feeling a distance between you and that person. Did you two break up? Or did you two have a misunderstanding? That, that I'm, I'm seeing a, a distance. Yes, Heather. Oh, Amy says she, she had a dream that Kamala Harris was being signed uh, and as president. I would not be surprised, Amy, because I feel Kamala is one of the few people. Because not until I, if, if you all of you notice, people ask me who do I think is going to win, and I've been holding because I didn't know. I still don't know, but after I after I saw Kamala yesterday, and it's not the. Uh, the size, the number of people who attended his, her announcement, it's just, and I didn't watch the whole thing. I was too busy here trying to finish my chart. Uh, that's when I feel she is one of the few people who can beat Trump. Okay, where's Sandy? I'm making sure I hit all my bullet points. Yeah, Heather says she's smart and direct. Yes, she is. Well, that's, you see, Heather, that's, that's what it takes to beat Trump, and she's not going to be afraid. You know, if she has a very quick mind, well, she used to be a prosecutor, 
So definitely she is going to take Trump not she's not gonna to go to the gutter with Trump, but the way she's going to treat him, you just you see how uh, uh, terrified he Trump is of Nancy Pelosi? She's gonna do the same thing to Trump. <laughs> and like he said, damn straight. Where is Sandy? Oh, Sandy, well, that's what I said, Sandy. I said I'm seeing a distance between you and him. So you two better have to communicate, okay? That's why I said I was... Did you, did you two have a misunderstanding? Sandy. I am not seeing his back, Sandy. Say, yes, there is a chance for you to, to stay together. But you two have to talk. Okay, yeah. That's why I saw you there is a distance. I didn't see his back, so there is a, still a chance for you to, to, to work things out, okay? But you two have to communicate. Otherwise, uh, it may not last, okay? Heart, uh, Sky is asking if I think Nancy will work around Trump to keep the government open. Sky, Trump cannot shut down the government. I can tell you right now, it's not happening. No way. Well, I'll tell you what, Sky. If Trump, the way I am getting this, if Trump tries it again, he'll be impeached. Trish, I know what you mean. <laughs> Klobuchar and Kavada. I mean, and Kam Kam Kamala. Uh, that's why I said, that's how I, I feel now until I see who else comes on board. But based on the people I, who have already announced or who are going to do, you know, do their song and dance to see if they should run for president, Kamala is the one that can be Trump. And Klobuchar is next, he's second. Yes, Amy, about, I heard about that uh, Kennedy, somehow they worked something out for, for Kennedy to get retired, to retire, and it sounded legit to me. So, you're right. Who is that? Who is that, Susan? You think so, Capi's mom? Capi's mom? I don't. I don't see him trying this year. I heard in the news a little while ago, there's a gentleman from Pennsylvania, I forget the name of it, the governor, I think it's Pennsylvania, he's going to primary Trump, or he's thinking about it. Oh yeah, I mean, of course, I don't see how he's going to last till 2020, to be honest with you. Well, uh, well, we'll see. I don't see how. There are a number of people, you know, uh, well, days Trump may last longer than I anticipated because it's not, it's not going to be smooth. The problem is going to be Republicans trying to, you know, to keep to, okay, what happened during the shutdown they kept they kept calling Trump and they kept talking to him, so that's why this whole thing lasted so long. It's not only Trump. The guys from uh, like Meadow, okay, from the Freedom uh, Party or Freedom Caucus, whatever they call their name, Lindsey Graham and those people. Those are the guys that kept Trump going, 
that's why it lasted so long and now they, they're all backing off but uh, the same thing and I've said that in, in my video that was quite a few months ago I did mention they are the ones keeping Trump going because they want someone dumb as president so he can do whatever they want him to do. That's why, well, besides their base, is still uh, solidly behind Trump. That's the other fear. But they, like that guy said, uh, what's his name again? Uh, I wrote his name here somewhere, I believe. Let me see. His last name is Grove. I forget his first name right now, who made that statement, the Republicans need uh, a dumb president who can do whatever they want him to do, just sign that, that's what they want. Kristen says they didn't like how smart Obama was. That's for sure, Kristen, they did not like that at all. They resented him. Oh my God. And you know who really didn't like him, Kristen? Paul Ryan. Oh boy. And it's not because of anything. Paul Ryan felt he should have... A lot of those young guys or people in the same age range as Obama. Governor Norquist. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, and that age range, they felt they should have been president. You know? So there, there was a lot of jealousy there. And do you remember when that guy, uh, Durang... Uh, a state of the Union, the guy who screamed liar, the, you know, does anyone remember that? That guy too, he could not stand uh, Obama. I believe it was Joe something, I don't remember his last name, Joe something. <laughs> Boy. Did somebody... Uh, Sylvia T is asking me she was uh, discharged, wrongly discharged. Sylvia, I wish I could say yes. The chances are small. You're going to have to fight really hard. I'm sorry, I'm not going to tell your story because I'm seeing you in uniform, but it feels like past. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, but... Keep fighting. You never know. Okay, Sylvia? I'm sorry. <laughs> <FBI knock. laughs> Sounds like a new dance move. Oh, yeah. Rajasthan can teach you all of us how, 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 that move, uh, how, how to do that move, Susan. <laughs> Edward is asking if there's any repercussion for Ryan. I don't think so. The, the, the repercussion for Ryan is going to be uh, him and McConnell are not going to look good in, you know, in the history books. They are going to cut down as cowards. The person I feel who may get in trouble is McConnell, but he's so smart and so slick, he probably skirted the law or some of the stuff that, uh, you know, they don't have enough to do anything to him. Ryan basically he tried to not to tangle, tangle with Trump or anything that Trump does until he left. That's why a lot of these people left. I don't feel a uh, love and peace is asking will battle catch on for 2020 and Hillary. I don't think so. I don't feel Hillary is going to run again. I am not seeing it. If I see it, I'll let you know. But right now, it feels like Hillary wants to relax. Beto is trying to find himself because he, 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 Beto is recharging his battery because that last race, Beto gave it all he had. So, oh my God. Uh, one second. Uh, I don't feel going down, Amy, but uh, 
Amy, how old are you? Thank you, Shah. Amy, can you? I, okay, I want to know where Saturn is in your chart. Oh, what kind of aspect Saturn is making on your chart? Okay, so you're not doing your. Oh, well, yeah. 50, you're not at your Saturn region yet. But I bet you, let me see. Uh, Saturn is probably squaring your sun right now. Okay. So, but I don't feel you going down. Okay. Artist, how are you there? <laughs> that would be interesting to 201 female president and female vice, woman uh, president and woman vice president oh my god that would be amazing that's good artist <laughs> oh yes it's I Emmy mean, when you have a business believe me I know Uh, it's difficult to tell because I can confuse the one you had last night and previous time. Uh, unless you tell me, I mean, you don't have to do it now. You can send me an email and I will see because... One second. Yeah, Anne. Okay, Anne, what I feel like asking you is, would, were there any symbols in the dream that meant anything to you? If there were, and you are used to them, yes, it was a vision. Otherwise, it was just a dream. Okay, that's the best way I can answer that. You're welcome, baby. <laughs> you know I, I am I'm having second thought about Biden I don't think he's gonna run because I well first of all I feel He's still trying to recover. He's still healing from the loss of his from the loss of his son of his son. And also, it feels like to me he's wondering about spending time with family and uh, or spend the time the next two years at his age. He's healthy. I saw him running. This guy's in good shape, uh, running for president. That I, I, I would be surprised if he runs. I don't think so. Bernie doesn't care. He's going to run. Well, Bernie, I feel I, I, Bernie's going to lose again, unfortunately. It's, I don't feel Bernie's going to make it. Stephen, yes, Adam Schiff is very good, but I don't think, I don't think he's going to run, though. Yeah, uh, Teresa, unfortunately, I feel really bad for Hillary because, she, oh my God, this country would, would have been a lot further if Hillary was president. I mean, from what I understand this morning, they said we lost 11 billions, okay, uh, over this fiasco that Trump did. And then he has the nerve now to dispute the numbers. Duh. It's unbelievable. Uh, 
Gwen is asking if I see her getting a better job soon. I feel between now and June, July, okay, Queen? So don't get discouraged. Yes, Amy, I agree with you. Amy is saying, you, would, you know, uh, she doesn't want to clarify by color. I agree. But you know what? Uh, the Democrats, they have some pretty bright people, black, white, Asian. Don't be surprised. The next time, we didn't know. You know who I think is going to run? I believe his name is Ted. He's a congressman from California. He's Asian. Don't be surprised if he runs next time. Yeah, I believe he, I believe he was born here. You're welcome, Queen. At this point, Queen, I agree with you. Any, any Democrat will do, but we have, that, you know, they have an amazing team. Oh, my God. Most people in that, uh, most of the senators, yeah, men and women are very amazing. Uh, Danielle, uh, I, I can't pronounce your name, so I'm going to say Danielle, uh, says, I'm hoping for, for a Democrat to be the next president. I feel that's what's going to happen. The next president is going to be a Democrat. And, you know, after I watched Kamala yesterday, I don't know if it's Ka Kamala or Klobuchar, one of those two, I would not be surprised. That's how I feel now because I want to see the other ones, what, what I get from them when they announce, when they make their speech, and then I can pick. But right now it's kind of difficult. Then Hopper says we need someone that's good at diplomacy. The world is upset with this obs uh, obnoxious man. Yes, but you know what? We are lucky because uh, of our leadership. There is a vacuum that's been created because we are not where we usually are. Uh, so the world miss misses us. So we're going to... I, I feel the world is waiting for America when Trump leaves office with open arms. So that's how I get it. Sharon said the electoral college should be abolished. I agree with you, but you know what? I wonder, yeah, I mean, that's, it's gonna happen. It's gonna take time. I don't feel they're gonna do it right away. Yes, Stephen, Kamala Harris made it. I mean, I didn't watch the whole thing, but I was watching from the pundits this morning they were talking about it. If they are impressed, I mean, I was impressed. I felt like she has the strength, the smart to go to -to, to Trump and Trump will lose. He can't even come close. And she's going to politely, uh, <laughs> just like Nancy did to Trump, she is going to undo Trump politely, undress him. He's going to stand on, you know, you know, wouldn't that be interesting? I would love to see this. Trump debating Kamala Harris. Oh my God. We would be talking about that debate for days. She would, oh, this would be unbelievable. Klobuchar can do that too. But Klobuchar is a little... Uh, uh, less aggressive than Kamala and she's a little nicer but oh lord that, that, that would be a sight to see Kamala debating Trump oh yeah that, that I'm sure uh, the world can't wait for Trump to exit uh, left and then we, we go back to where we were because that's why I am not 
afraid about uh, us getting back to where we were. It's going to be a little challenging. Nothing is easy. But yeah, the world can't wait. Yes! <laughs> Susan, wouldn't that be interesting? This morning I was thinking about it. I'm like, oh my God. She would basically, I mean, chew him up and spit him out. No, I, I, I don't see how Trump is. I'm telling you, I, I, like I said, the only way Trump can survive even up to the summer is because the Republicans are going to keep talking to him like uh, Ma, uh, the other guy, Ma, Meadow, from the uh, Freedom Caucus, keep calling him, and I hear, I hear it in the news, he talks to Trump at least an hour a shot uh, multiple times a day. So those are the type of... Ted, dude, thank you very much, Lisa. Oh, he was born in Taiwan, so he can't run. But he thought about it. That's because I, every time I see him, if he could run for president, he would run. So, but he's pretty good. He's a pretty smart guy. Uh, but yes, Susan, that would be... Oh, my God. It would be amazing. I would pay to see that debate. Ada Brown, yeah, well, Ada Brown expect to see all kinds of uh, videos on YouTube. Don't be, uh, don't let it get to you. You know, I've been, I look at, okay, when I first started on YouTube last year, last September or something, or October, I had to look at a number of videos because I wanted to know how to position myself. I watch astrologers, technical stuff because I'm a techie as well, you know, psychics. And uh, you come across all kinds of stuff. So don't let it bother you. A lot of times these people don't know what they're talking about. But yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, come on, I was born in California. Okay, everyone. Thank you very much for coming. And I will, I don't know, I may have to change my uh, streaming application because I don't know if it's the application that's causing my chart not to come out clearly. I know the camera is not bad, so I, that's what I have to troubleshoot. So next time, either Friday or next week, I'll do a little presentation, astrological presentation, and show uh, when I feel Trump uh, will exit. I mean, time-wise. And, you know the obstacles that are in, on, in Trump's uh, path. Thank you everyone for coming and for your support. I really appreciate it. The past week or two or so, I've been getting over 100 uh, people watching. That makes me feel good. Have a good night. I will see you Friday. Oh, I'll be on, uh, I believe, Wednesday morning because so I can do something for people from the West Coast. Thanks everyone for coming. Have a good night. Bye.